What a time to get a little footman with that. Hey, it is Trick Tuesday in my city, Chicago. I'm residing at 6210 South Cambridge Avenue, Chicago, North 60637, apartment 308. Do not knock on this door, but I'm here to tell you, it's all good and real, for real. Uh, I like to talk about this shirt right here. I just got through coloring in and things of that nature or whatever it said. What goes around comes around. And if you get a look close up right there, you know, I need my originals to stand up because, you know, I go to the flea market every now and then on 42nd and Ashland, somewhere around there in my city, Chicago. And, you know, I noticed that people are starting to, you know, take my swag at the flea market. They make hats and they paint them in and make designs or whatever. And they charge about $35, $40 and stuff. But if it rain, nigga, that's it. That's all. Now, I do all this as a demo. You understand what I'm saying? Hoping somebody, you know, will jack my motherfucking shit and make it professional. You understand what I'm saying? I don't I wouldn't charge a person, you know, for this shirt. Real talk. And I'm just a person that's selling merchandise that is not like a Oprah Winfrey or Michael Jordan. You know what I'm saying? That hasn't put that work in for real. Just copying off originals and stuff, trying to get paid because what I'm the originator of rap music and you think you know, whatever I do, the the uh, locals or the natives, which I am of this, you know, continent, America, Chicago, and that I spell S-H-E-C-A-R-G-O because I'm an original of that. I'm an original of your ghetto news report. And, of course, I got my number one troll, Oprah Winfrey, in the background that try to imitate everything I do and stuff. You know, still I'm saying for real. She got the Africans, you know, starting to dress like Americans in America. But... You know, they don't like Americans. Imagine that, all the hell I've been through, you know, trying to get these Africans to go back home and stay. For real. I mean, you done sucked the life out of my people long enough. Now you're over here dressing like us. Now they want to be, you know, lesbians and stuff like that, studs and stuff. I was looking at a, a um, video on YouTube, you know, try, a girl trying to describe the difference between a dyke and a stud. And they say, you know, dykes don't shave their vaginas, the JJs. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm trying to figure out, well, how would you know for real? And was my ex-girlfriend, Luana Joy Jacobs, you understand what I'm saying? In my world for so many years and who also met Oprah Winfrey, uh, just studying me, trying to figure out how to become a real cool girl lady, because that's what I am at the end of the day. I was born a girl. Make no mistake about it, okay? I ended up being a lesbian because guys took advantage of me, and I figured I came out of vagina. I like what I like. Why would I like guys when I know they violated me? Now, I know all of them didn't do it, but I tend to have more problems with guys, you understand what I'm saying, than I do with girls, but I know it's a girl behind it. And why I got Satan behind me. Get thee behind me, Satan. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. Now, she's just a little disgruntled. That's all. You understand what I'm saying? She's going to be all right in the long run. I hope she doesn't take offense to this and her African, you know, children and stuff that's trying to be Americans. You understand? Now, I know y'all smart and everything because Oprah likes to read and you probably know everything about me, know more about me than I am Know about you for sure and myself. Now, I'll give you credit, but, but why are you trying to be me if you don't like me? You don't see me wearing, you know, African gears and things of that nature. And when I tried to wear the red, black, and green, I got beat up on the west side doing so-called Black History Month. But then I saw a, I saw a sign in America that say Black History Month is every day. And you know why? They come over here to America getting everything tax-free where the locals and the natives, you know what? Paying taxes and catering to them and their egos and stuff. Easing God out. That's all ego is. Easing God out. And you know, doggone well, it's a higher power looking down on all of us. Otherwise, you wouldn't be trying to be me. You understand what I'm saying? Because you know I believe in a higher power. Real talk. And Oprah at one time once did too. I don't know what happened. She kind of, you know, got led astray or whatever. The money must have been too goddamn good. Either way. You understand? She, we, we still gonna pray for her and stuff. Okay, so they was trying to say, you know, the difference between stud and uh, a dyke. And this was a young, light skinned girl, probably from Africa. You understand? What I'm saying she didn't look like a Native American. Let's put it like that. 
and you know trying to tell us who we are and stuff and you know they say dykes are nasty and so but she did say she don't have nothing against dykes and stuff like that so she tried to clean it up you know i i give her a pass on that but i start thinking i said damn you know it wasn't just dykes and studs back in the day and stuff for real it started off as bull daggers you understand what i'm saying real talk if y'all know anything about uh the girl who made mama mama i gave birth to most of these m's roxanne shante yeah you know she went up against queen latifah uh you know uh mc light she say something about you know watch the bull dagger stagger or some shit like that or you know i don't know i'll put in the description you know of this video that i call who the fuck are you shit <laughs> Cause I don't know no more. I ain't gonna lie. I look at them sometimes. I'll be like, damn, that's a fine ass man. <laughs> well, it's a girl. <laughs> oh, that's a cute ass guy. <laughs> but it's a girl. <laughs> I'm just saying. They might say a whole lot about me. But at the end of the day, it started off with bull daggers, dykes, lesbians, studs, butch, stem, femme, lady. Girls, women, female, bitches, hoes, slut, skeezers, cunts. And then, of course, Young M.A. say she don't want to be labeled, so she's just me always. Is she me or is she her? Because it's her story, right? That's what she labeled her first album or whatever, her story. Instead of my story, I would have labeled it my story. Because it's my story. If, I, if I'm giving you something, I'm giving you my story. I'm not going to give you her story. Her story is somebody else's story. You understand what I'm saying? My story is my story. Your story, your story. You see where this is going? To God be the glory. We'll talk. You understand what I'm saying? So, I'm going to label who am I and who are you? I'm going to keep it clean. For real. So, we need to know what's up with all these titles. I'm just me. Or am I just you? <laughs> I'm confused. Real talk. So what goes around come around now. I'm gonna leave all that confusion to all you smart young people who don't know who the fuck you are, who be trying to study how to be a lesbian. You know, if you love somebody, you love them because you know you like who and what you are. You know, I come out of that vagina. I have to, I have to keep you, you know, re, re, uh, iterating that. You understand what I'm saying? Keep reminding you. You know what I'm saying? Because I like what I like and stuff. Don't get mad at me. Because I don't like, you know, fallacious, you know, you know, with the opposite sex. It's just, you know, I'm just not, you know what I'm saying? I've been through some shit. I tried. I ain't gonna lie. It's not my cup of tea, for real. And right about now, I ain't trying to do nothing. Because these mugs gave me cancer. You understand what I'm saying? And until they do right by me, for real, all jokes aside, hmm. You're going to find out exactly what I like and don't like. Because I could be a you-know-what at the end of the day. And life is what? And then you die. Right? Okay. So hold on to that if you think I'm playing. So whatever they call in y'all. Because they got transgenders. License plates that say female. And if they a man that's a transgender. And they, they license um, say female. And I'm a girl for real, lady born this way, and mine say female. And a person who don't know the difference gonna assume that I'm a guy that transformed into a female. No. See, this is where we need to draw the line. Because it used to be simple. He and she. Ladies, gentlemen, girl and boy. That's why I got out. That's why I did the video almost 10 years ago called uh, To You, The Listener. Meaning me too, to remind me how fucked up shit have gotten. Now, I don't discriminate when it comes to nothing. My first ever YouTube video, Mary Mac versus the Fat Black Oprah Winfrey, and that I did November of 2007. I was real humble, trying to be understanding and everything. And I thought, you know, by me growing up, you know, mostly in the gay community because it used to just be gay and straight okay that you know you all if anybody would understand but somebody had a bigger agenda it has nothing to do with sex you know uh it has something to do with 
brown people because light-skinned people want to run the world. They have, you know, this vision of a white Christmas. And I believe in the rainbow colors and stuff like that. You know, I, I'm a colorful person, if you ain't figured out. I couldn't just have white walls and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. You know, I couldn't just do that, you know, because I come from a, a line of people who have all kind of whatever in them and stuff. And if you had any sexual relationship with a white person, I guarantee you, you got a little, you know, bow wow in you too. <laughs> Sorry, bow wow. I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. You understand what I'm saying? This is why they chose me to be last, because I can make you think and laugh at the same time. But even when I joke, I'm not joking, for real. So for the ones who think of me as crazy, stupid, or retarded, you know I'm not. I went hard body for uh, the so-called lesbians, the girls, because I kept hearing growing up that people that look like me, aggressive girls born this way, were, you know, getting killed. You know, my so-called best friend, Pilar Harris, and I'm going to say it again, you understand what I'm saying? She could play basketball real good. And she looked kind of manly. And she got drunk one time, they said. And it's, this is what she told me. And, you know, some guys raped her, put a scar on her face, and took advantage of her. And to this day, she's very, you know, she's into her Bible and she's wearing dresses. She didn't had a couple of children. She's not the same person she was. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. Now, she and I may have not gotten along. But you're not going to force me to be something, you know, I'm not when I was trying to be the lady that I am before I got railroaded May 31st, 2008, for so-called disarming the police officer on Devon and Clark in Rogers Park. Only thing I disarmed was they nuts and they balls when I grabbed one of them by the balls after they pulled me down from behind and maced me. And the spirit made me grab his gentle to air his private spot, to let him know I got you by the balls, real talk. You're not gonna do me like Pilar Harris. So if you thought you was gonna get me back here in this trap building and fuck me one last time like doo-doo, you got me fucked up. You know, no disrespect to Pilar, but you know, all you had to do was stand up. I went hard for real. And I know you thought, you know, whatever way of, about me, but at the end of the day, we girls. You understand what I'm saying? We all we got, for real. You understand? Because these guys, they gonna do them, and they gonna do us too. That's why they got little Nas X doing the girls almost better than the girls and getting all the attention and stuff. It might not be the right attention, but he's getting it, and he's getting that money. You understand? I'm not trying to be broke. And that's why they not gonna get a penny out of me, for real. Where's my stimulus checks at? They ain't even run me my other two stimulus checks and all this other bullshit. You owe me so much, it's ridiculous. I'm not finna die for you studs. Or bull daggers, lesbians, you know, butch, stem, femme, lady, girl, woman, female, bitch, whole slut, uh, skis a cunt, or me always motherfuckers and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Stand up for yourselves for once. Golly, why has somebody got to die for y'all to feel empowered and stuff? Okay, stop that. Rise up. Real talk. I remember it was this, um, this uh, girl at the 411, it used to be a 411 party down the street where I'm from on 63rd. And um, they have torn it down. And they said this girl named Coco who had hazel eyes, she was a nice aggressive looking, you know, young lady. Even though she was manly looking or whatever, she had hazel eyes and they said, you know, they gave her cancer. And I always looked at her like, dang, if they got her, and she was cute, for real. You understand what I'm saying? I might be next. And sure enough, I got cancer. You understand what I'm saying? Because somebody hating. Even the aggressors be hating on each other. Y'all worse than the guys and stuff. Damn, it's like, come on now. Hey, I don't know how to end this other day. You know, I'm going to do me regardless and stuff, for real. Look, the best rap I heard or line far as rap is uh Foxy Brown when she said can't nobody fuck me better than me and that's the honest to God's truth okay so if I fuck myself just to get next to you <laughs> I did a hell of a good job and with that this will get a new support of Mary and Dash between the Mary and Lee that be game up peace